Hi, Crystal here from Crystico Design. Today we are knitting the Mura Towel. This is an easy knitting pattern that's great for beginners or advanced knitters. And we are using Dishy cotton yarn. It's 100% cotton and it comes in a 190 yard ball. This is a one skein pattern, so I used all 190 yards for this towel. You might want to get an extra ball. And this is a number four medium worsted weight yarn. I highly recommend cotton. The color I'm using here is called linen. To knit this, we are also using knitting needles that are four millimeter, US size six. You can knit this on straight needles or circulars like I am doing here. The stitch multiple for this stitch pattern is seven plus six to get started. The gauge is not terribly important uh, for a kitchen towel, but for a four inch by four inch square, I do get 18 stitches by 24 rows in stockinette. The finished size of our towel is 16 and a half inches long by 13 inches wide. Okay, you can use any cast on method for this towel. Um, the knitted cast on is the one we'll use when we get to the keyhole loop. So that one will be a good one to learn if you don't know it. I prefer a crochet hook cast on. It's super simple and leaves a neat, clean edge. Long tail cast on is another good one as well. Cast on 62 in your preferred method. Once you've cast on for row one, we are going to knit all across. Okay, and then turn your work. For row two, we are going to start our stitch pattern. So we will knit the first six stitches. Then purl one and knit the next six stitches. Then we'll repeat that across, purl one, and knit the next six stitches. You will repeat that across your full 62 stitches. I'm just doing a small swatch here. Okay, so when you finish row two, you'll end with the six knits, and then turn your work. And for row three, we are going to be knitting across. Row three and all the odd number rows are going to be your right side. So you're always going to knit across the front, the right side of your work. Okay, so for row four, we'll start with knit two. Then we'll start a repeat of purl two, knit five. Keep repeating purl two, knit five across until you only have four stitches left in your row.
When you have four stitches left, purl two, knit two to finish the row. Okay, and then turn your work and we are on the right side of our work. So for row five, we are going to knit all across. Turn your work and we are ready for row six. We are working on the wrong side and we are doing a repeat of row two, which starts with knit six. Then we'll repeat across purl one, knit six, all the way across to the end. Okay, and then turn your work and the next row is row seven, which means we're on the right side and we will knit across all. Okay, turn your work and our last row is row eight. And this is the only row that we are going to purl all the way across. Okay, row eight completes one repeat. So now you're going to repeat rows one through eight for 13 repeats total. Okay, those repeat rows are row one, knit all. Row two, knit six. Repeat starts with a purl one, knit six across. And row three is knit all. Row four is start with knit two. Then you're going to start your repeat of purl two, then knit five. Repeat that across until you have four stitches left, then you will purl two, knit two. Row five is knit all, and then row six is a repeat of row two, which is starts with a knit six, and you start your repeat of purl one, knit six, and you repeat those across to the end. Row seven is a knit all, then the last row is row eight, purl all. So you're going to repeat those eight rows. Okay, when you are ready for the hanging loop and your towel as long as you need, or you have done 13 reps total of our eight row repeat, it is time to repeat rows one through six one more time. And then we are going to do our bind off section here. I've marked off as stitch markers where we're going to knit, where we're going to bind off, and we're going to bind off between the, the red stitch markers. Okay, so at this point you should have repeated rows one through six one more time, and you're on the right side for a row seven repeat. We're going to knit the first 21 stitches, and then we're going to bind off the middle 20 stitches. Then we'll finish by knitting the last 21 stitches.
marked. 21 stitches knit on the first part of the towel. Now I'm going to bind off. I'm using a regular bind off, so I knit two stitches, insert my left needle into the first of those two, and pull that stitch over the second one. I'm going to just add this stitch marker back on here real quick. Okay, and then keep binding off until you have 20 stitches bound off. There are only 21 stitches left in the row after you've bound off those 20, and then you'll knit those last 21 stitches. Okay, after you bind off 20 middle stitches, you're just going to continue to knit the last 21. Okay, our center stitches are bound off, so now we're going to turn our work. And for this row, we are going to cast back on for those middle stitches. To get there, we are going to purl those first 21 stitches, and then we'll use our cast on method to add a row above our bound off stitches back in, and then join it up again on the other side. So start with purl 21. Okay, so now we're going to cast on, and to do that we need to turn and be working on the front of our work so that we can cast on to our left hand needle and have it joined up with where we are right now. So I'm turning my work and switching my needle hands just as if I were at the end of a row, and I'm going to use the knitted cast on here. Okay, so to do the knitted cast on, I am going to insert my right hand needle into the first stitch on my left hand needle and I'm going to knit. Then I'm going to pull that loop up a little bit taller and slip it onto my left hand needle. Got a little loop over there. Then I will insert my needle back into that stitch, knit again, pull up a long loop, slip it onto the left needle, knit, Pull up the long loop, slip it onto the left hand needle. I am going to cast on 20 using this method before I turn my work again and continue purling across the back side of my work. So cast on 20, the same number we bound off. Okay, once I have cast on 20 stitches, it's time to turn your work. We're back on the wrong side. Our live stitches are now on our right hand needle and our left needle is empty. So we're gonna get in position here and then we're just going to purl the remaining stitches. Okay, so I have my stitches ready and now I'm going to purl again. The first stitch will be what joins it. So I'm going to try to do it a little bit tighter than I normally would, just so we don't have a big long pull of yarn there. And there they are joined, all one row again. 
just purl to the end. Okay, when you've purled across those last stitches, it is time to turn your work. And there we have our hole is made, both of our sides are joined up, and now we are just going to knit our last two rows to finish off our towel. When you get to the cast on st stitches in the center, you just knit across those like normal and keep going. Okay, I'm approaching my keyhole, thumb hole, towel hole that we made. So I'm just going to knit these like normal. See, I have that ladder there, so I'm going to make sure not to pull that too much and just knit that first stitch without pulling that ladder even longer. There we go. Just knitting across here. My effort to make them nice and not too loose, I may have knitted them a little tight. Okay, again at our joins here where we cast on and we have regular stitches. Just make sure not to pull those too far. All right, so there we knit across our cast on row, our cast on stitches, going to knit to the end and then we will turn. Okay, and then we're going to knit one more row before binding off and finishing up our towel. So we knit two rows after our cast on and towel loop. Now it's time to bind off. Knit one. We're using the basic bind off here. So we'll knit one and then we'll knit a second stitch. Then we will use our left needle to pull the first stitch we knit over the second one and that binds off one stitch. Pull it up a little so it's not so tight. Knit the next one. Pull the one loop you have on there first over the second one and just keep binding off across the row until all your stitches are bound off. Okay, I have bound off my towel and I'm all finished. Now I want to show you real quick how to use the hanging loop. So you're just going to drape the towel over your towel bar or oven handle like normal, front facing you with the loop in the back on the bottom. Then you can take the front and push it down through the loop and pull it through till it tightens onto the bar, the handle that you are hanging it on. From there, you can just tidy up the top and neaten it some. You can also do it another way, which I'll show you real quick, if you do like the tri-fold. So we'll fold the sides to the center and drape the towel over the bar the same way, but this way it'll give you a folded look while it's hanging. So we'll drape it over the same way and then thread the bottom through the loop and tighten it onto it and secure it that way. And that's how you hang and fold the mirror towel. I hope you enjoyed this knitting pattern and I'd love it for you to stop by my blog, christicodesign.com and check out more of my free knitting patterns and tutorials. Thanks so much for watching.